Heyo everybody, Haku here with my live reaction for Tower of God Chapter 558 or Season 3 Episode 141. I'm excited as always, and yeah, I guess there's really not too much to discuss before getting into reading. We got Cliff hung really, really horridly last time. I, it, I am like struggling so hard not to read ahead. Um, so yeah, I guess we just need to go ahead and see what's going on next. Uh, somebody said in the comments that they liked how, like, Gustang was just big brain doing this whole thing, sending Holem back, but then having the teleporter be a part of that. And I love how, like, both Gustang seems really big brain intelligent, and Traumaray seems really big brain intelligent. It really feels like they're both making plays, um, and there's a lot of mystery surrounding both, where, like, not just immediately given everything... Um, and I like that. It really feels like both are playing their own game here. Um, and really all of the things that the different characters are doing is really interesting. Um, I really am excited for Coons Group. I want to see what they're going to do in all of this. Plus all of the people that are in the competition that now have to survive the night, uh, with the Snake Master. Like, um... Traumery really said we have uh, Snake Charmer at home, and uh, he has shown up and they have to survive the night while he's trying to attack or whatever. And we last left off with Roku there, and I, I really want to like all of these new characters. I really want to get invested. Now, of course, not all characters are going to be important, um, and you never know which are going to be important and which aren't. Um, cause I was like, I don't want to get too attached cause I remember floor of death and then hell Joe's minions basically don't do anything. Uh, and then there was last station where I was like, Oh, all these new exciting characters getting revealed and most of them just get one shot. Uh, but like with the nest and all, when we're first introduced to like, you know, Didiano and Lafav, like Lafav played a huge role in the nest and it's like Didiano did nothing. So you never know who is going to end up being a really fun, enjoyable character and who's just going to get one shot. Um, the same goes for like some of, we get Liborics like replacement division commanders and some of them do absolutely nothing, whereas Arya is pretty important to the story. Um... But, yeah, I guess we'll see. I want to like Roku. I want to like all these characters. Um, but I just, I don't have high hopes for their survival, to be honest. Uh, but I guess that's it. Uh, let's just go ahead and get into reading. Sh er, shout out to everybody who did say stuff in the comments. Like, the comments have been really, really great. Everybody's been super excited and awesome since Tower of God came back. Thank you to, like... Uh, Luck and uh, FR Nono and Elegius and everybody that's been talking on Discord and everything. It's been really awesome. Um, so yeah, and also somebody, I think it was Luck, cleared up that uh, what I said was like maybe a spoiler that I was spoiled on wasn't actually a spoiler, so we're clear there too. Uh, but yeah, either way, let's just, let's just start reading. Uh, if you don't tell me, and this is exactly where we left off, I'll kill you all. And we're jumping straight into it. All right, season three, The Serpent Master three. A few minutes earlier in the bathroom. I was surprised. The Slayer candidate looks nicer than I thought. He's still a regular. We're probably around the same age. <laughs> Is she actually going to, you know, be like, you know what? Maybe marriage isn't so bad. There can't be a few, er, there, there can't be more than a few hundred years difference between us. It's a shame that he's already gotten dragged into something like this. I feel bad for both of us. But don't get any silly ideas. You came here to defend your family's honor and disrupt the marriage. According to the rumors, the Slayer Candidate is powerful enough to defeat Rankers. I can't let the Lopobia family have him. I have to stop this marriage at all costs to avenge our leader. Maybe I can make the Slayer Candidate our next leader if I win the tournament. And then she notices the slithering. What the hell? Why are there snakes in the bathroom? And they're all coming out. Terrifying. Like, top, like, up there in the list of fear scenarios. Just, you're trying to do your business in the bathroom, and then, bam, snake. That is like, you know, high up on the I don't want that to happen list. Wait, could this be the intruder, she thinks. And it's cool the way she's pulling, like, this weapon out. Laura. Where's Laura? What a strange monster. If you don't tell me, I'll kill you. Laura, who's that? And then, 
The snakes start coming closer. And she dodges away. Alright. Again, interesting getting like Roku fight panels and all. And they're like really good and all too. Why can't I cut them? My attacks aren't working. This isn't good. And she's just getting overwhelmed by the numbers. Oh, and it looks like somebody dashes in towards her, maybe? Or is she getting away? I think she might be running away. I can't beat this thing. I have to get out of here. She's running across the sinks. And then there's just another bundle of snakes. It's shadows of yarn. I'm all over again. Alright. And then is she getting one shot, basically? Looks like she might be getting taken out. Instead of breaking in from the outside, it sneaked in through the pipes in the bathroom again, high on the list of fearful scenarios. And then it bursts out. And we see probably dead Roku. <laughs> Lilial's face here. This, hold on, throwing the panel up. I get a few panels per chapter. Um, where is it? Here we go. <laughs> Look at her face, her little like goofy face all right and then oh yeah no more head roku's done i feel awful because we never even got to see her do anything really but again not every character is going to be important and like i said i was kind of preparing for it especially roku who like really just got the like one panel oh yeah they're also here kind of introduction what the what the Bomb, I just can't believe you. If you're going to lie, at least make it believable. Why on earth would the leader of one of the ten great families want to make a slayer candidate his son-in-law? You're his enemy. But it's true. Hey, to be completely honest, you're useless to the family head. Why would he want someone like you? And then tell me the truth. You fell in love with the princess first, didn't you? N no, Andrasi. I'm not sure what's going on either, but I get the feeling that the family heads or the family's head likes using people like this. Mr. Slayer candidate, may I come in? Huh? Who's that? Hello. Oh, and it's uh Hema Slime. It's nice to meet you both. My name is Hema Slime. Oh, and we actually see her face here. She's pretty. I like her. I'm sorry to tell you this, Mr. Slayer candidate, but I came here to find my family's guardian animal, not for marriage. And what brings you to his room? I saw the two of you enter the room together a few minutes ago. I don't know, or I, I know this tournament doesn't really concern me, but a contest is still a contest. The Slayer Candidate's marriage partner hasn't been decided yet, so I don't think it's fair for the two of you to be alone together. What are you talking about? We've known each other for ages. Still, a contest is a contest. It's only natural for me to want to keep the two of you apart. You're really getting on my nerves. Hey, say something, or use your Shinsu to kick her out of here. This is all your fault. Well, and then they hear a slam. And we see Lilial fighting. Oh, she's just blasting the entrance where it came from, it looks like. But the snakes are still, like, reforming from this point. And then, I love... Her and Mare's, like, run pose. Damn it, run, our attacks aren't working. They're just booking it out of there. I hope Mare doesn't die. Like, Mare's intro was really funny. Same with Koyup. Gasp, what's that? Just run. Holy crap, what the hell is that thing? Breaking, <laughs> breaking news. Things they'll knock. I'm trying to take your picture. Stay still. And we have Lighthouse Control Skill Triple Wall. And it uh, looks like it's just busting straight through, probably. And then, yeah, probably dead. Again, we get introduced to somebody from Tower News. They could have been used so much in the plot, and it seems like they're getting one shot as well. But, again, it's not like I really didn't expect it. And then, hurry up and close the door. Come on. And then, it looks like the others, at least, I. what we see, like, how was, was she like, Huinga, Apa, or something like that? 
Quingo Apa, something like that, and uh, Flippa. We saw them. We saw them leave. Hey, you jerks! What are you doing? I'm sealing the door with slime. My species produces a special kind of slime that makes objects very elastic. It deflects most attacks. I was nice to you people. This is how you treat me now. There's still people out here. Open the door. I'm gonna kill you. And Lilial's just kicking it. Huh? And her foot sticks because of the slime. What's this? See, or we see the snake still closing in. This is bad. And then bombs little squad. I again. I hope he or er, Hema Slime can be just one of those like random characters. Like again, like a Arya or a um. Gosh, what is it? What was I thinking there? I just lost my train of thought. Or like Jordan. Jordan was really fun and interesting when he was around. Just one of those art characters that can actually like do something and be interesting and fun. Just stick around with Bomb's team for this. It's in the restaurant. And then they're coming. Watch out. And it slams straight into the door past the three of them, actually. And we see a bunch of blood splatter? Or run around to the door on the other side, Princess. Oh, and then somebody grabs Mare's coat. Princess, you said you wanted to help me, right? Then distract that thing for me so I can escape. And she throws Mare to it. What an awful person. That's a really good looking panel. But that's awful. You bitch. And we see Koyup still trying to fight. All right. And then Mare falling into the snakes. And Bomb. No. Reverse flow control. Does he stop all of that? Wow. So I wonder then. Hold on. I'm going back up for one second. Because I want to see what's going on with the door. It looks like they move out of the way and it slams into the door and busts it open. That was... And there's like blood at the door too. Yeah, it slams into the door past the three of them. We see blood, so I don't know if that's supposed to be Flippa and the other girl on the other side, but I figured they would have run away by now. So I don't know what that, like... Or is the blood just from the snakes crashing into the door? I don't know. That's kind of unclear. Okay. And then Bomb comes through the door where it hit or whatever. Interesting. And he stops all of it with reverse flow control. Did he just stop the monster? Isn't that... And then the Slayer Candidate. Alright, and we have Bomb's group coming in from the other side of the door. Slayer Candidate, you're the one who took Laura. I'll kill you. And interesting, it keeps mentioning Laura, so you think uh, Lilial would react to that. And then we see another door bursting open. We can tell from the shoe it's Ren. I know that dragonfly told me to stay in my room, but how can I sit around doing nothing in a situation like this? I don't know who the guy blocking my window is, but I'll just say er but I'll just say that monster is the one who broke the door. And as for the Slayer candidate, I'll say that the monster killed him too. Now, time to look for the Slayer candidate. He he he. And do be continued. That was a good chapter. So again, the art there was really unclear. We know for sure Roku's done. Looks like Yelnok is done. Flippa and I'll just call her Apa, or Apa or Apo, I don't remember. That girl, they might be dead, because the snakes crashed into the door, there was a bunch of blood, uh, but it was kind of unclear, you would have figured they would have been away from the door by that point. Um, we didn't really get any like hard confirmation there of anything. I guess you could also say that Ilnok is potentially still alive, because all we saw is it looked like the snakes going through her, at least. Um, I would think she's dead. But then, then again, I last chapter, I was like, oh, I, I think Candidi and Meyer are dead. And then I scrolled down a panel and it's like, no, they're still alive. Um, so I don't know. I, I don't uh, know. But yeah, good chapter. We got to wait another week, though. It's frustrating. It's frustrating. Um, yeah, I guess that's everything, though. Um, there's not really a ton to talk about. I thought it was really fun. Again, I want to like the new characters. I'm afraid to get too attached to them. I, I like the, I like Hemus's, 
or Hema Slime's design, now that we're seeing her, like, sorry, hiccup, up close and in more detail. And I'd love for her to, again, be one of those characters that just hangs around Team Bomb for an arc. Uh, that'd be really, really fun. But uh, yeah, also, like, how is Mare going to interact with Lilial after this? Uh, how is Lilial going to interact with the snake, given that it's looking for Laura? Uh, or interact with Bomb after he kidnapped her? Uh, we still don't even know what the, the whole breadth of that situation between, like, Trauma Ray and Robodon and everything even is. Uh, so there's just a lot of interesting pieces all moving at the same time. Uh, and I can't wait for next week or the week after or the week after to see what's going on. It's just insane to me because it's like as much happens and as much changes from chapter to chapter. Um, and like before it was like fast passes, three chapters ahead or whatever. And it's like, that's a lot. It's insane to think that there are people 12 chapters ahead. The story, 12 chapters from now, like so much happens that it feels like things are probably completely gone on to something else by now. Um, but yeah. I'm interested to see where it goes. I had a ton of fun with it. Thank you all for watching. Um, like if you did like the video and comment down there too. Tell me what you thought of this chapter, my first thoughts and reaction and everything. Uh, we can talk down there. If you want to talk on Discord, like I mentioned before, just ask and I can give you a link to the uh, server. It's free and open for anyone. If you want to talk on Twitter, we can follow or you can follow me there. We can talk there. Um, just anywhere you want. Uh, I always try to answer everybody and talk to everybody the best I can. Uh, if you want to help support the channel uh, by becoming a patron or a channel member, it is uh, patreon.com slash haku of the tubes, or a link will be in the description. I forgot to say this at the beginning of the video, uh, so it's kind of use or kind of useless to put here at the end for most of you probably, uh, but for those who have been asking about Omniscient Reader or Kubera, Kubera and Omniscient Reader are my next videos that I'm going to do as soon as I have time to record and do anything other than these uh, Tower of God videos. I've been posting, um, I've been posting the Jump Week videos when I get time too, if I don't have time to record, but I still have time to like edit and do thumbnails and stuff, I'll do those. Um, and even in the past two weeks, I haven't even had any time to do any of those because those are, those were all recorded in like 2021. Those are old, um, but I never had a chance to post them. So I've been posting them whenever I get a chance. Uh, hopefully life will go back to normal at some point in time uh but until then yeah like i said thank you thank you to people who are already patrons and channel members uh thank you to chosen i finally updated it thank you to chosen regulars evan hall or chosen regular evan holly magical girls fr nono and uh, new member slash patron warian um thank you to chariot and student david langstaff and slayer candidate sg and yeah thank you huge thank you to all of them for the support that way and huge thank you to all of you for watching it really really does mean a ton um again especially with the way this year has been but yeah that is it thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you all next time